Hi, I'm Natalie and this is going to be a warm up that you can do in the winter time to get ready for doing pole, whether it's for your own training or if you're getting ready for a Zoom class with me or somebody else. This is a warm up that you can wear leggings or sweatpants in and it's something to get you warmer so that you can get into your pole shorts faster and also some conditioning moves to make you stronger. All right, starting out with some arm circles. Do about six to 10 reps on each side and then go the other way. And then bring the arms front and back, almost like you're giving yourself a big hug. And then bend your knees and one arm at a time up, really twist to warm up your core some more. and wrist circles, six to 10 each direction, like you're scooping something up. And then when you go the other way, like you're trying to flick something off of your fingers. And elbow circles, roll those elbows six to 10 times on each side. All right, now we're gonna do some squats. So this first one is where you're up. Heels are up, pointed toes. Really lean back away from the pole so that you can keep your knees directly over your toes. All right, and then here's a different variation. Keep your head down, hips up to one side. This starts working out different muscles in your hamstrings and also gives you a stretch at the same time. Switch the hands each time that you switch which direction you're going to go up with your hips. Two more. Good job. All right, this squat, your heels stay down and you're squeezing your inner thighs together. Really squeeze. This helps you squeeze your glutes, those butt cheeks more. And again, lean back, see if you can get your bottom all the way to the floor. And if you wanna make it harder, do one arm at a time, switching back and forth. Really squeeze those inner thighs together, squeeze the butt cheeks. Good job. All right, now we're doing leg swings. I like to use the outside leg, the one that's the farthest away from the pole so that I don't accidentally kick the pole. And I flex my foot so that I don't kick the floor. And you could start out doing these with a bent knee and straight in the back, bent in the front, or straight legs. It is up to you. You know how cold you are, how flexible you are. Go at your own pace. Now turn your foot out, toes to the sky, and really work your obliques and your glutes to get the leg to go out to the side, trying to stand up as tall as you can. Good job. Two more. All right, so these are gonna be leg swoops going over the pole, one side to the other. You can always modify these by having yoga blocks underneath your hands if you can't quite reach the floor yet with straight legs. This is a different view to show how your leg is going all the way from one side to the other. And another way that you can modify this if you feel like you keep kicking the pole is do it without the pole behind you, but still trying to swoop your leg side to side to really warm up your hips, your glutes, your hamstrings, and your back. And sometimes you even feel this in your shoulders and in your obliques too. Different view again. Good job. All right, so these are Cupid crunches. So your outside foot is at the base of the pole. Your inside knee is hooked on the pole. I can do these in pants and you can do these in pants too, but a lot of people have a hard time gripping the pole at first because they have their bottom back. You need to squeeze your butt, push your hips forward. You can see how much more that curves 
my knee and ankle all around the pole, okay? Otherwise, you can't always use grippy knee pads or you can do this one with shorts on, but I'm telling you, if you have your hips pushed forward, you can do this with pants on, okay? So I just showed all the different levels while I was talking here. I will be doing level two for this. All right, so choose the level that you're gonna do and do six to 10 reps. Really squeeze the butt cheeks, squeeze your inner thighs together. Got this, you're almost there, just a few more. Good job, other side. So again, just to review, because I was talking, this is level one, where you can have the hand near the pole. Level two, try and reach for the floor, and then your other ankle. Level three, have your arms overhead to add that extra added leverage. All right, six to 10, and go. There. All right. Now get yourself a drink of water. If you want to pause the video right here, you can. Otherwise, it's going to start back up in a few seconds. So get ready. All right. So now we're going to be working out more of your upper back, lower back, glutes, hamstrings, and some balance. All right, so at first you might have a really hard time balancing with this one. So I'm gonna put one heel against the pole. Other heel is in front of that foot. I'm gonna hook that knee on the pole, lean forward. All right, this is level one. Go down just a little bit and up, trying to keep that balance, keep leaning away from the pole so that your knee stays on there. Level two, reach all the way to the floor, reach up. All the way to the floor and up. Level three, reach down, but don't actually touch the floor and then reach up. That way you have to use more balance. You don't get to reset by touching the floor. All right, do six to 10 of these. Ready, set, and go. Once again, I'm choosing to do level two. Good job. You're gonna feel this a lot in your ankle and your calf. Your toes doing so much to scrunch into the floor to keep your balance. Almost there, a few more. And these take practice. Most of the time when I teach these in class or if nobody's done these before, you fall over a lot. It takes a lot of practice, but once you get your balance, build up that strength, these are going to be your best friend for working on your backside. And because of how much you're gonna feel this in your back, do these stretches right after each side. All right, so now we're gonna do the other side. So make sure you're doing the other heel against the pole, other foot in front, lean forward, hook the knee low. See how my knee is lower than my hips? If you hook it up too high, you're gonna have a harder time balancing. It's down low. Do six to 10. really working on your active flexibility, opening up those shoulders so that you can reach back farther, almost there. Try and keep your standing leg as straight as possible. Engage your glutes, hamstrings, and back, good job. And again, shake it all out. I walk the legs out, I roll the shoulders a few times each direction, and then I hold on to the pole and lean back. And move the hips side to side with straight or bent knees. It's up to you. Dropping that head down. Roll the shoulders a few more times. All right, now we're gonna do some abs. So from seated on the floor, I have one heel hooked, pointing that toe and my knee is turned out to the side. So here's a different angle. So again, knee is turned out to the side. I'm really pulling so that I'm activating my hamstrings, pulling right there at that ankle into the pole to help me sit up. So this is level one, where I'm bending and straightening out the leg, tucking it into my chest. Level two, straight leg, trying to lift so you have more leverage, All right? Six to 10 of these and 
Go! Almost there! Good job! Other side. And again, really turn that knee out to the side, point the toe, pull the back of your ankle and heel into the pole. Almost there. Job! Roll the shoulders a few times. Both directions. Right, this is one of my favorites. So you're going to start with both legs on one side of the pole, and you want to make sure that your knees are past the pole. Top leg comes up and over and hooks. I'm going to show you from a different angle. So I'm sitting beside the pole, lean, hook the knee. Yes, and then I want to sit up before I get started so that I know I'm on the side of my butt cheek, not actually on my hip bone. If you're on your hip bone, it's going to feel impossible to sit up. So this is level one. You can lean onto your elbow, grab the pole, and help you get up. Level two, lean to the side and get up. Level three, have your hands on your head so that you can't use them for leverage. All right, and again, do six to 10 of these. Pick your level and go. I'm doing level two. This is really good for your obliques. This is like a side crunch, but you get to use the pole. It also is really good conditioning for the back of your knees and the top of the thigh. Good job, you're almost there. Whew, other side. So same thing, sitting beside the pole, I lean to the side, top knee goes over and hooks. Start crunching, six to 10 of these, go at your own pace, good job, almost there. Yes, good job. Roll those shoulders out again, roll the other way. And thank you so much for watching. Get another drink of water. You did amazing. Use this video as many times as you need to. And if you have any questions, let me know.